For 30 years, the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame has honored Jewish sportsmen and sportswomen who played a significant role in shaping the sports history in Southern California. The Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame represents what greatness is all about. Colfax. I got Gaylord. Alcott. Spitz. Spitz is really going for it. Legendary men and women have been enshrined over the last three decades. The Hall of Fame was established in 1990, and ever since, athletes, coaches, officials, media members, executives, and special individuals have been selected for their contribution. We welcome you to the 30th anniversary of the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. Back in the 80s, uh, Eli Sherman, who was the athletic director for the JCCs, asked me to help him put together some way to honor the Jewish athletes, uh, not only the great ones that we know of, like Koufax and Hank Greenberg, but the, all, all the Jewish athletes of Southern California. For these Jewish sports figures, being inducted is the highest honor. I found out I got in the Southern California Sports Jewish Hall of Fame. It was a tremendous honor, um, something I was incredibly proud of. It made me reflect on my family uh, history and, and heritage. It allows me to, to be an inspiration um, to young Jewish kids who don't have too many professional athletes to look up to, to say, hey, he was able to do it, um, and we have something in common. So hopefully it's something that's able to inspire and motivate um, the next generation. Well, it was a great honor, I mean, that they recognized me as an athlete and for my accomplishments. Growing up in Southern California, uh, being an immigrant and coming to this country and then having a lot of my success uh, being here in L.A. area, uh, it was just a tremendous honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and know that, you know, I'm part of the history uh, of uh, Jewish athletes that have achieved incredible success. Well, it was quite an honor to be inducted into the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. That's where I'm from. I grew up in Los Angeles and uh, to be honored in, in such a way was really a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it. It's a fun organization as far as honoring the best in Jewish sports. I think it gives people inspiration who don't really think Jews can accomplish anything in sports, whether it's on or off the field. When I got the nod to be honored, uh, it really, really meant a lot. So I'm just very fortunate to uh, to be honored by my community. It's an exclusive club. Obviously not everybody can be in that. So you really have to earn your way in. And for me it meant a great deal because to be acknowledged for my work, but also by a group of people that obviously mean a lot to me, Jewish people. Uh, I looked at it like this. The year I got inducted, I pretty much figured they ran out of Jews. So who's next on the agenda? Me. So I got in, and I couldn't be happier. Preiselberg in front, he's going to win. It's the athletic accomplishments that makes the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame special. When Sandy Koufax, the most superb pitcher in the entire game, declared that he was not going to pitch on Yom Kippur, it sent an electric bolt through me because one of mine, who I could identify with, was at the top of his game honoring his Jewish faith. I was well aware of what Sandy did and he had a huge impact on my career and the decisions I made. And as a Dodger in spring training, I got to know him really well. He, he would come out and, and be supportive of the players, particularly the pitchers, and work with them. And, and I'd go to dinner with him every year and, and we discuss those very things. And um, he's just a classy guy, a great guy, and, and I always wanted to, to be that type of role model for, for younger Jewish kids as they, they followed my career. Sandy Koufax I used to watch when I was a little girl in the $2 seats with my dad pitch, um, I think when Chavez Ravine was first to stadium. I, I, I bear say here that I probably saw him pitch at the old uh, Olympic Stadium, you know, at the Coliseum. Um, and idolized Sandy. 
And then when I was a young girl, I actually got to play a couple holes with him before I ever turned pro at La Costa. And I still keep this light blue golf tee that he gave me. And down on the near side, it's Murphy, but Spitz is going to go in. Spitz wins the gold medal. It's really hard to get the vision of Mark Spitz with seven gold medals out around his neck, standing looking like a Greek god and having done something no one ever did. Uh, and oh my God, he's Jewish. Was that amazing? He was the best athlete in the world that summer. I just felt great that I was able to accomplish what I, I set out to do. I was always thinking about the next day's events because I had to go and prepare for the next day uh, and still try to continue my winning ways. Reverse work now. The Olympics have come to Southern California, and a native son, Mitch Gaylord, comes back. He has the only perfect 10 in gymnastics. We upset China and Japan. We're so proud. Back in the 80s, that was it. If you can get a perfect 10, uh, you have certainly arrived, and it felt incredible to, uh, to make that happen. I was the first American male gymnast to do it in the 84 Olympics. I don't want to diminish Mitch Gaylord. He's a perfect 10. He's got all his 10s. But the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame has the Jewish Jordan, okay? Jordan Farmar. I used to cover him at Taft High in Woodland Hills, and then he was at UCLA, took him to the Final Four, and he was the engine on those teams. The men and women of the Hall of Fame are proud of their heritage. I never thought that after the Olympic Games I would have to be explaining my Judaism. Um, uh, but I'm proud to explain that that's my heritage and uh, it's been a part of my life. Growing up in Soviet Union, we didn't really practice religion. So I really uh, became a proud Jew when I came to the United States. As I've gotten older, I traveled to Israel, I played the Maccabee games. I even have Shabbat dinner at my house. Like it's, it's really grown and I, my mom described it kind of as a time release capsule. That released. <laughs> I mean, I'm much more Jewish now and appreciate it so much more now that I'm older. One of the things that stood out in the Torah is treat others like you want to be treated. And that made a huge impact on my whole life with my friends, the coaches I've been around, the teams I've played, always to treat them the respect that you want them to treat you. And I pretty much lived my life like that of treating people the way I wanted to be treated and it started when I was seven in Temple. My parents uh, uh, were great people, you know, uh, we went to synagogue and, um, you know, I'm very proud of my Jewish heritage. It was a, a lot of fun to be one of the few Jewish athletes um, that people rallied around. Located at the American Jewish University in Los Angeles, the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame has honored over 400 Jewish men and women. The hall supports and promotes community and individuals in sports via the World Maccabee Games in Israel. There were two of us, Lenny Reifman and I, were both vice presidents of the organization that uh, put together the Maccabee Games. The Hall has established the Alan Malamud Award. The Alan Malamud Award honors the great former columnist and sports editor of the Los Angeles Times and Herald Examiner. He was so great in his column days and also all the sports that he covered. And my job is to try and find the future Alan Malamuds of Southern California. What an amazing impact this Hall of Fame has made over the last 30 years. It's incredible it's been 30 years. So when you think of athletics in general, with all due respect, you really don't think of Jewish people, right? But if you consider the impact that the Jewish community and Jewish athletes have had in the world of sports, this absolutely symbolizes what that means. Future Jewish stars will come to the forefront in all sports and add to our already sterling list of inductees. Who may be the Hall's next iconic figure? the Southern California Jewish Sports Hall of Fame will continue to document their greatness on the field and in the community, knowing that the next 30 years will be as historic as the first 30. He did it, Sandy Kopak. This was the seventh game of the World Series.